lottery than high income earners? No. Americans earning more than $75,000 a year will spend three times as much on lottery tickets as those earning less than $25,000. I'm Tyrone Curry. I won $3.4 million in the Washington State Lottery. Tyrone Curry loves all four of his jobs. Sprinting to the exchange. And winning $3.4 million won't slow him down. This is my third job I'm a seating host at Safeco Field for the Seattle Mariners. And I greet and see uh, patrons. But his passion is his track team at Evergreen High School in West Seattle. This is the finals, and the people that advance from here go to our district meet. From there, it's one step to Tyrone's dream of getting his 4x100 relay team to the state finals. Come on, Sean! Come on. Come on. Come on. Evergreen gets off to a great start, but then on the third handoff, a rival runner falls in Evergreen's path, costing the team a place at the district meet. Tyrone wants a rerun, but this lottery winner's dream is in the hands of the officials. I was standing in that corner right there. Will his luck hold out as it did for our next lottery winner? I'm Jason Fry, and I won $23 million in the Florida Lotto. Jason Fry held down three jobs to stave off bankruptcy before a split-second decision led to a $23 million lottery win. He said goodbye to the hard times and hit the green to pursue his dream of playing on the PGA Tour. I got really good five, six months every day, and I uh, got to be about six handicap. That's it. I played in a tournament in uh, Fort Myers, I played a Fort Myers Classic, and I also played uh, in a Pro-Am in San Diego. So that was pretty fun. But the dream faded when Jason realized that he missed working, and he feared sinking his fortune into a golfing career wasn't a great investment. So he got some advice. Hey, Jason, how you doing? from a whole team of financial advisors. Together, they're working out the best way to grow Jason's millions. And it's good because they're always like looking out for me. You know, if I bring up ideas, they're always not just saying, yeah, that's a good idea. They're constantly questioning my ideas, questioning what I plan on doing. Exciting stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's my dream team. Yeah. That's right. In a surprise choice for a man about town, Jason decided to invest his millions in batteries. Batteries Plus is a national franchise. Basically, we deal in every type of battery you can imagine, from car batteries to book batteries to cell phones to laptops. Then he asked his good friend, Sean Kennedy, to become his business manager and partner. And now, sales are skyrocketing. We've already beaten uh, last year's May sales by 7,000. And if we keep up with the pace that we're on, we should break the 100 grand mark again for the fourth month in a row. Excellent. But this dynamic duo is not content to run just one successful store. They bought the franchise rights for four more. He loves selling batteries. I mean, everything nowadays is run by batteries. Me and my partner, I always say we're going to be the battery gurus of uh, Southwest Florida. So, um, yeah, that's what we're planning on doing is just keep building and building and building. His success is big news in Southwest Florida, and the local news is here to cover the grand reopening of the store. Thanks for everybody coming out. I appreciate it. And a ribbon cutting. With business booming, Jason can afford to pursue other interests. <laughs> Anything I can help you find? What do you? Something big, something fast. That's a four winds, three ten horizon. Should run uh, close to sixty mile an hour. <laughs> There it is, bud. You ready? Nice, yeah. It. Feels nice. Feels fast. It's really nice. Is this the one? Yeah, no, I think this is the boat for me. Yeah. All right. Great. Glad to hear it. It's been a whirlwind ride from near bankruptcy to multi-millionaire businessman. But after his heartbreaking divorce, Jason had nobody to share it with until Savannah Martin walked into his life. She was just a fun girl. We would go out and hang out. They met at the restaurant where Jason used to bartend. So were you at the boat? 
Yeah, we uh, took a test drive today, me and Billy, and um, looks like we're going to go with the 31-foot uh, bow rider. Oh, yeah? Yeah. We can take it down to the Keys? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Last summer, when we really started getting serious and dating, we were able to travel a lot. On one of those trips last October, Jason made another split-second decision, one that was just as life-changing as the first. Up next, the millionaire coach investing in his team. One, two, three, family.